Hi everyone, I want to share with you in this video how you can create and customize your own cereal box using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I remember um, my sister and brothers and I would always look forward to the prizes that were inside the cereal box and I can even recall just wanting to pick the cereal based on the prizes and my girls tend to do that sometimes too when picking you know the cereals when we go grocery shopping and that's when I thought how cute it would be to be able to customize your own cereal box and just fill it in with a bunch of prizes and so I used some craft card stock that I purchased from my local Michaels and I love this craft card stock because it's really nice and sturdy and it just worked well with the envelope punch board and it just looks like a cereal box and I use the paper collection by die cuts with a view it's the vintage collector collection so I just layered some design paper I also added the coordinating die cut adhesive pieces and then this is a bow that I created using the MFT dainty bows die with some burlap paper I created a felt and tool flower using one of my Sizzix dies and this is some lavish laces flowers that I just layered a crocheted heart my mom made this is a lavish laces trim. I love this um, furniture. These are those Julie Netting adhesive chipboard pieces. So I just painted them both with some acrylic paint and then I took my sanding block and just distressed it. This is one of the new Julie Netting dolls and this is Kate. She's super adorable. And I just Copic colored her hair and skin and paper pieced her outfit. And then I just took one of the design papers and used my Martha Stewart doily punch. You can see the top here looks just like a cereal box. So you would basically just place some repositional tape underneath. And then when you open it just like a cereal, you would fill it in. And then when you're you know, done, you would close it like so. And I love how it just looks just like when you would open a cereal box. How this part of it just pops up. So when you display it on your shelf, it looks like a cereal box that just had been opened. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I even made a smaller one, just like those small little cereal boxes. I believe it came in like a pack of eight different varieties of cereals. So I'm thinking of making maybe six, and then I'll probably create some type of base tray in the bottom to stack them in, and then I could just create, you know, different designs and then put different goodies inside. I thought that would be a great gift. So I just used some 110 pound white cardstock and this is the same paper collection. This is using the same die but the smaller bow with some felt, another die cut adhesive sticker and then this is the smaller new stamp which is Sunshine and I stamped her on some of the buff paper from the buff paper pad and paper pieced her outfit and color copied her hair, headband, and her shoes. And again, it opens just like the cereal box. So let's get started. These are really fun to embellish. So let's make the large one first. You're going to need your scoreboard. So I'm using my Martha Stewart scoreboard. So this is the cover right here. So the cover basically measures 12 by 11 and 5 eighths. And on the 12 inch side, you're going to score at 2 and a quarter. So 2 and a quarter and 9 and 3 quarters. Now you're going to turn and on the top part of the box, you're going to score at 1 and a half. Okay? So make sure that this is the top part of the box. So you're going to score at 1 and a half and then 10 and 1 eighths. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's take the back of the box. On the 12 inch side, it's going to be the same measurements, which is two and a quarter, and then nine and three quarters. Now on the top of the back of the box, you're going to score at one and five eighths. Make sure it's my top. Yeah, I marked it because the pattern is pretty much the same. So it's one and five eighths, and then ten and a quarter. 
Okay? So let's put this aside. And we're going to pre-fold all the scored lines. And the reason, another reason why I picked this, this, these, this dimension for the cereal box is to make sure it fits one of my uh, doll tags from the Prima, with the Prima dolls. Okay, so now that we pre-fold all the score lines, see this is the, take the back of the box. You're going to cut on the back of the box all four of the squares, okay? So let's just cut those out. Okay, so we did that. Now let's take the other one. And on this one, you're just going to cut a slit on all four sides on the smaller part, not on the, what is this, two and a quarter inch. So just cut a slit. Okay, now I'm going to take our envelope punch board and we're going to take the top part of the box and we're going to punch at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters, punch, flip, and two and three quarters. Okay, so that's the cover or that's yeah, that's the back. And then for the front, let's see which one's the top? Okay, this is the top. Also at two and three quarters. And then flip two and three quarters. And I forgot to mention on the back of the box, you're going to have to cut this part out right here. Okay? So I just cut it like so. You can use your trimmer. If you want. Okay, I'm going to cut that part out. Okay. And then we're going to adhere it together. So let's line our box here. And I just take the back of the box and I just fold these down. And you want to cover these two sides completely. But for this video, I'm just going to cover a piece. Sorry, I had to give Princess a treat. Okay, so just add your adhesive. And then on the cover, on the bottom, you're going to add some adhesive down here. Okay, so let's put it together. So let's take, remove these out. I'm just going to line it up. Okay, you're going to notice that this is one eighth of an inch taller than this, and that's supposed to be like that. So that way it can close correctly. And then we're just going to fold this down. So I just line it from the bottom to make sure it's even. Okay. 
And then we're going to push these down. Let me peel this out. Okay. And then I just take my ruler, kind of push it down. Like so. And then you just push down the sides. You got yourself a cereal box. Super cute. So that's how you make the large one. So now let's make the small one. And the small one, you're going to need for the cover, it's going to be seven and three quarters by eight. And then the back, it's going to be seven and seven eighths by eight. Okay, let's take back our scoreboard. Start with the cover first. So this is on the eight inch side, you're going to score it two and six. So two and then six. And then the on the top of the cover side, you're going to score at one and three eighths and six and three eighths. Okay. Let's do the back. So the back, you're going to score on the 8 inch side at 2 and 6. And then on the 7 and, oh, sorry. Is that the, oh, okay. On the 7 and 7 eighths inch side, you're going to score on the top at 1 and a half. 1 and a half and then six and a half. Okay, let me mark this as my top since the pattern looks the same. Okay, now let's put this aside and let's fold our scored lines. So it's the same steps as the larger box. I was going to make this the top, but change my mind. Since the pattern looks pretty much the same throughout, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now this is the back, so we're going to have to cut the four squares out. Let's cut four squares out. Okay. And then on the cover, you're just going to cut the slits on the smaller Parts. So just cut your four slits. Okay, now take your punch board and let's see here, where's the top? Okay, this is the top. You're going to line it on the punch board at one and a quarter. Punch, flip, again one and a quarter. Okay, so that's your cover. And then the back, oh, sorry, this is the back, confusing myself. Don't forget to cut this piece. Okay, so that's the back. This is the cover. So, where's the top? Okay, right here. Same thing, one and a quarter. Flip, one and a quarter. So let's adhere it together. Again, I take the back piece and I add my adhesive. So let me just add a piece. Again, normally I would cover the whole thing completely. And then the bottom of the cover, you can add your adhesive. Okay, so let's put it together. Let me just remove these out. 
and then just line it up. And it's the same thing. You're going to notice it's a little bit larger, about one eighth of an inch, but that's the way it's supposed to be. And then line this up. Okay, just build the bottom. Let's take out this piece here. And then there you go. You got your small little cereal box. Super cute. So that's how you make it. So again, here's the small one, all decorated, and then here's the large one. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.